So it's new gear day and I'm really, really excited. Got a package from Antelope. And I have my knife and let's open it up. Um, I used to have a Antelope Orion 32 interface, the original one, uh, first generation. And it served me really, really good for hybrid mixing and stuff like that, using a lot of output gear. Uh, with age, it stopped being supported and it didn't work with the uh, Cubase 12 on my new MacBook. Uh, for some reason, it worked in any other software. Uh, for example, Pro Tools, uh, Reaper, uh, Logic, you name it, but not in Cubase. So I reached out to Steinberg and asked if they could help me, but they couldn't. Antelope said that they could help me. Uh, they actually offered to fix the issue so that I could still use it. But I mean, that interface was 10 years old and even if they fixed it now, then I would soon run into another problem. So I figured why not get with the times and upgrade to the latest one. So what I got here now is the Orion 32 generation four. Getting started. So, you can check some stuff here. Uh, it's 32 in, 34 out. The, the one I had was 32 in and out. Here we have like a stereo, um, yeah, master bus listening, which I was kind of missing. Um, yeah, 64 bit clocking, Mac OS, Windows, Thunderbolt, and USB. The one I had before was only USB. Worked great, but Thunderbolt would be great too. Uh, we have Immersive Ready, which is something that I probably won't use now, but I really like the idea of having the possibility to be ready for, for Atmos mixing and stuff like that. If I decide to go that route, this interface will uh, cater to those needs. Seal isn't damaged. cable and we have USB-C and an uh, adapter if you don't have a USB-C uh, plug on your computer. Wow. Looks pretty cool. I like the new dark design. The one I had before was uh, light metallic, silver metallic. It smells new. <laughs> and also, I guess, I hope this um, button on the front can be used as a volume knob. Uh, generation one didn't have anything, so you had to have. Uh, I mean, I, I was running through my uh, the console, so I can use the fader as my volume, but this is really good to, to be able to have like direct monitoring from the interface and not going through an analog chain if I need a really clean uh, path of audio. Yeah, so here, left, right monitor, we have A dot in and out, uh, we have MADI in and out. Oh yeah, MADI, two MADI, so this basically can, um, run a shitloads of channels if you expand it a little bit. Word clock, SPDIF, 
really looking forward to hook this up. I will hopefully have some time to do it today and uh, be able to, in a better way, incorporate my outboard gear in my mixing again. So thank you so much. Bye bye. Cheers.